Okay, our winner, Danielle Bradbury. Oh my gosh, how are you feeling right now? I feel amazing. <laughs> Holding this beautiful thing is an honor. I can, I'm so speechless. I mean, that, and that thing's heavy too. I mean, it's almost as big as you are. <laughs> I can use it as a weight. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it, it's definitely amazing. We, we, we've talked about this so many times, but I mean, you, you started this journey about a year ago. Your mother surprising you by signing you up, and you know the the multiple auditions and the rehearsals and you know still having to go to school and the performances what, what, what is what is this victory what is the title the voice mean to you after all that it's definitely been a whirlwind um, I have to go to school uh, just all the minor stuff and uh, having to do extra school during the performance days and it's it's really stressful, um, but I try to keep as calm as possible. And knowing that I'm crowned the voice is unbelievable, and I could not thank anybody enough. It, it's amazing. When, when, when you heard your name, what, what went through your mind? I, I was holding on to Michelle, and we were both shaking, and we looked at each other. Thank you, guys. We, we got this. It's okay. And when they, I, I busted out in tears. I, we saw, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was... Oh man, I cannot describe how I felt. It was, it was amazing. And what was it like shortly after to share that moment with your family? I mean, they came on stage. Tell us about that. Yeah, they were all crying, of course, and uh, it, it was just great. Uh, I looked over at them, and they just had this face that I'd never seen before of like so proud. And yeah. I, I told my hometown I'd bring back home a win, and I did. And, <laughs> Uh, I'm just so thankful for everybody, all the supporters. Yeah, speaking of that, you know, um, at the one watch party, they had more than 1,500 people show up at COS. Sorry, and of course, I hate to do this, but I please. Always, this is the winning card. Ah, and I want to give awesome. that to you. Oh, awesome! That's for your memento. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice little little treat there. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, but back uh, at, at home, they they had more than 1,500 people at your watch party at COF. They had a, a few hundred uh, down at, at Pizza Wings and things as well. You know, uh, what, what what has the support of folks back home meant to you this entire journey? It, it means more than anything, um, knowing that I have all of them, I have, they have my back and if I ever need somebody they're all there for me and, and they're, they're the ones that got me through all of this and they're, it's not all about me, it's a part of them too because they, they're all amazing, my family and friends and anybody, all the supporters and it's just crazy. Okay, so uh, so so what's next? Uh, in, like in the next day, and then what do you see like in the next week, in the next couple of months as well? Well, I see a lot of interviews in the next couple of days, and hopefully I can go home and reunite with my bed. <laughs> but um, I am hoping to make a make a song, make a, a CD, and. All that good stuff. Uh, <laughs> I think I think your mother told me, but I want to hear from you after after getting a taste of this. You know uh, what what the music world is like, and and how much of an impact that you have on people who listen to you. Is is this is this what you what you want? Are you are you ready for it? It's been crazy, and at times I'm like, oh my god, what am I doing here? Since I was so shy and would not do anything, but it's. It's definitely something that's worth it, and I've always wanted to be a singer, and I finally can be that. Yeah. And it, it's crazy, and I'm living my dream. Yeah. It, it's amazing.